All right, I'm here in the treehouse. Just had a call, 911. Someone at the park, which is right over there. All that back there is a park, county park, Arthur Woodard Park. I had a call so you can hear the sirens going. That's a very nice reaction time, maybe about 20 seconds. Uh, someone was screaming for help and they were screaming in agony. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens. Um, we're 30 seconds into this video. I started making it 20 seconds after I made the call when I heard the sirens. Arthur Woodard Park right over there. There was a man, there's the police. I can see the, the, the blue and reds. I can hear the sirens from another vehicle coming. Miami-Dade County is doing a great job in response. That was legit, uh, screaming in agony. And uh, I heard help and help. I do hear things very clearly here from the treehouse, even across the park. It's about 300 yards away, I would say, estimation. And I hope that man does get the help that he needs. Uh, it was a solid 15 seconds of agonizing screaming and help enough for me to call 911. All right, I'm here in my truck. I just came over to the park. I live right over there. Here's the park, 1220 Northwest 99th Street. I don't know if that's the bad guy or the good guy, but they're still here. And I'm sure there's an investigation. I'm thinking about going over there and asking if uh, everyone is okay. Uh, I'm really impressed with Miami-Dade County uh, response, which Miami-Dade County is an exceptionally good police department. Uh, they have their flaws, but exceptionally good police department. They had a great response time, and they're out here and they're doing their investigation. All right, it is came out of my truck. I'm gonna go over and ask. Hey. Yes, sir. Just wanted to ask if everybody was okay. Yeah, where's, um, where's, uh, hey, Bobby, I don't I don't know, he drove away. You okay? Did you hear the screaming? What, man? Did you hear screaming? I think it was me. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Yeah, but I got you. Yeah, I, I, oh, it's, you hurt your leg. Yeah, All right. He, oh, so somebody, because I'm the one who called. I heard you screaming. Yes. And you, you were able to get a description, everything? Yeah, I got, I don't put that impression about them because I don't expect they're going to do that to me. But yeah. I, I have some excuse and I do it with the police. I drive the taxi, they take the taxi, they left in the taxi. The thieves, right? I saw the taxi. Yeah. Like, I live nearby. I, I was able to, I just heard you screaming yeah. and I knew the uh, general direction. I saw the taxi. Yeah. I won't, I won't, I have myself on camera. I won't put you on camera, but I always film police and anything that happens in public. Uh, okay. To make sure, you know, there's accountability. So they did rob your taxi. Yeah. They're pretty good at him. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, man. That's that's pretty brazen. That's pretty crazy. They came fast. Yep. Hopefully, they can go out and find uh, because the taxi you shouldn't have gotten that gotten too far. Maybe a five minute head start. And it was kids. Yeah, two young kids. Two young kids, right? Man, I'm sorry. That's it's scary. You got hurt. They stole your property. No phone, they took your phone and everything? I got two phones in the car, they took my job, my, my, my wallet, everything. Everything. All right, so here's the story. I'm right here. The, a taxi cab got uh, stolen at gunpoint and uh, they just crashed the cab. I'm here with the officer and they just told uh, the victim. What, what they the, crashed uh, the taxi that he was uh, robbed with, uh, he was robbed of at gunpoint. Uh, this is Northwest Miami-Dade County, Arthur Woodard Park. These are the things that can't happen. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you guys tuned. I'm walking away. They don't need me for anything. I'm not going to show the victim. He doesn't want to be shown. Uh, I'm going to go down the street, see maybe if I see the crash and show, uh, show the cab. You guys are probably going to see this on the news. For those of you who don't think that these things happen, they happen a lot. And I mean, they put a gun, he said they put a gun right up to his head. And this is the reality of the world that we live here in, specifically here in Miami-Dade County. And the police will do their best. And if I were here and we are an open carry type of state, I will open carry. 
uh, and it can get ugly because that's that's the reality when you're fighting for your life and the guy did get hurt he was he did have blood on his uh, on several parts of his clothing um, for where they roughed him up uh, he's lucky to get away with his life they could have easily shot him which is why when I hear something I mean I'll call and again Miami-Dade County is a very good police uh, department in general I've had some uh, ugly run-ins but they're rare hold on I got somebody here I, no, ma'am, I cannot. I can't give. I can't give rides. Oh, all right. I'm so sorry. Uh, best of luck. You too. Thank you. Um, I don't give strangers rides because you're just going to put yourself into a world. I mean, you would think it's a nice thing to do, but you're going to get yourself into a world of trouble if they say that you did something. Uh, of course, I could have kept recording, but I don't let strangers into my vehicle because of the world that we live in. Uh, we must be. Uh, vigilant and careful you never know what's going to happen and what people will accuse you of uh, that's just being prudent um, if it was an emergency of course I would give that nice lady a ride but no I do not give people rides and again if she had an emergency of course because in emergency situations you do these things but no sir not voluntarily I will not um, again be prudent out there for you gun owners be prudent out there you you unholster uh, and you point that weapon, your your aim is to use it. You use it, you better be sure. 100% that is uh, protecting life, uh, property, if you're on your property, not just anybody's, uh, not just out in the public, which would have been the case here. I If I unholster my weapon, it's going to be to protect that man's life. But if it's on my property, you bet your bottom dollar I shoot and ask questions later because you don't know what anybody's intentions are. Same reason why I didn't give that sweet, nice lady a ride. Um, and you can say I'm cold. No, I'm prudent and I'm wise about the decisions that I do make uh, because it is inevitable. Something will happen. You'll be accused of something you've never done. But again, going back to the whole gun thing. Um, a lot of people carry guns in Miami-Dade County. You better have yours because your life is at stake. Uh, this is is something that happens regularly. I just I was just able to catch it this time and put it on video. Like my heart's not racing or anything like that. But if I unholster that weapon, I better be sure his life is in danger because you're going to go to court for it. Whether it be stand your ground and you're you could be a hero, but you're going to go to court for it one way or another. Somebody else is going to determine whether you're a villain or a hero. And it could just be young kids being stupid. You don't mess around with guns. You don't mess around with people's lives. It's uh, it's either you or them. It's, all that being said, please be careful out there with your guns. I am, I am a supporter of defending yourself because there are bad actors in this world. Uh, they will take your life and they will hurt you and they will alter the course of your life. You too will alter the course of your life if you decide to defend yourself. But it's fight or flight. I have ran away from a fight before. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, I'm not afraid to say that because it didn't. It wasn't worth it. I've also run towards a fight because it was more than worth it. I've had somebody's life in my hands. I could have taken that life, and I would have been justified to take it. But I had to control the situation, and I did not take. I did not take that guy's life. Um, even though there was an attempt of murder and it was done like it, there was a true attempt of murder of a building complex he only got attempted murder for three lives no he put a whole building on fire uh, I was just able to put the fire out in time before it spread uh, to the whole building so only it only caught one unit uh, like a part of one unit on fire and I was able to put that out and go running down the street, catch the guy, and bring him bring him to justice. Uh, everything was caught on camera too, and you can see it on the channel. It's there. But anyway, all that being said, be careful with your with your gun owners. I am a gun owner, um, but be prudent. But these are the situations that justify uh, gun ownership. Mind you, this is coming from a Democrat. I am running as a Republican. I get it. Uh, some things the Republicans really have it right. And in local government, right now, 
As much as I love my Democratic Party, Republicans have a right, and Americans are Americans. And I listen to uh, the other side enough to be like, you're right. And I am going to run as a Republican. I will stay registered as a Democrat because I love the Democratic Party, but they have it wrong. And they need to know they have it wrong. I'm running for mayor. I uh, I call in everything. I did call in for, I, 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 I there was a cat. So I live off of Northwest 95th Street. For those of you who live down here, know where, uh, no, Northwest 95th Street, couple blocks from, oh, I see something. I see flashing lights up here. Let me see. One police officer just left. Let me see if I find the other one. We are now on Northwest 95th Street. They got yellow tape. They got yellow tape. So here you go. Yellow tape right here. I don't know where the crash was, but it's got to be somewhere around here. This is what makes sense to me. So they got the yellow tape uh, roped off over there. I kind of see something orange in the corner over there, but I don't see a yellow cab. But something is definitely going on. It could be in that trailer park. That is a trailer park community. Um, they throw mad, awesome uh, parties over there. I'm, luckily, I'm far away enough where I can hear the music. I can hear the party, like block parties. But I don't see, uh, I, I never, I don't, it doesn't bother me. If I go inside, I don't hear it. When I'm outside in the treehouse, yeah, I hear it. But why would I ever rain on somebody's parade, man? Go have fun. It's the weekend. Uh, it is what it is. I put this, I picked up a dead cat uh, off to the side of the road. You, I could tell it was hit by a high speed uh, car. And I called that into an NMRS to just document that I picked it up because the, the facts are people drive fast through this street. It's a 40 mile per hour um, uh, speed zone, which is fair, that's good. But people drive 60, 70 miles per hour uh, down the street. And kids were coming out of school and they're two blocks away from where this cat was. A car comes running, uh, flying down that street cab wasn't in the middle of the street but it was just off the side enough where i had to like wave traffic off so i can go pick it up and um you know kids are coming out and a car comes over they run that cat over again because it was definitely hit by a high speed car um they run that cat over the guts are going to go everywhere it's disgusting but kids don't need that they're walking home from school uh people don't need that but come on it, it's it's specifically at this time, the time the kids were coming out of school, they don't need that. So I, as soon as I saw it, I went, uh, I had gloves. I always have gloves in my truck. I had a garbage bag in my uh, truck. Anyway, this is a beautiful community. We need to invest in our communities. I have invested a ton of money, effort, time in this community. It is a predominantly Haitian and African-American community and Latino. There's a lot of Cubans and um, Mexicans, uh, Dominicans, mostly Cubans though. Uh, of Cuban descent, I should say, but these are all uh, bona fide, beautiful Americans uh, that are coming from somewhere else, seeking a better, a better life here in the states. And there's nothing more beautiful to me than anybody who embraces the American way. And um, and I see that here in this community, so I invested in this community. I love my home. I love my neighbors. And yeah, um, I will do everything that I can. I'm an able body. Uh, brilliant man that's debatable to you all out there but that's what I think of myself and yeah I want to uh, contribute the most that I possibly can while not being a pain in anybody's butt and uh, not being over hawkish um, and, and enjoying my life here on my property but yeah on my property I walk around with a gun at all times and I, I'll showcase that gun. When people come over to my my home based business, I will let them know I am a gun, you know, if they see the gun, uh, they don't always see it because sometimes I'll conceal it on my property. Um, but I let them know that here is a safe space. When you, only people are allowed, I have no trespassing signs. Only people allowed on my property are people who are invited. You register for a class, you are invited. Uh, you get out of line, I'll put you in line. I've never had to had had to do that. People are coming here to have a good time, enjoy the trapeze, and everything's very cordial. And my home is open to my uh, to my clients and my customers, to my friends, to my family. But if I don't know who you are, I've never met you, and I've never said, "Hey, I have an open door policy with you." I do not have an open door policy with you. Uh, and I unholster, and you know when you unholster, you have intent to use before I ask questions because in other people's intents that I don't know and I have it clearly marked on my fence there right at the entrance no trespassing 
no soliciting. You do not come on this property unannounced. You do not come on this property uninvited. That is America. It's strict. It's uh, draconian. This is my dirt. And I will protect my clients. I will protect my friends. I will protect my family uh, foremost before I even question anything else. All right, long video. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck. Be safe out there. I hope this guy gets his uh, justice and um, and everything works out okay. I'm glad he is okay because they could have easily pulled that trigger. I uh, love you guys. I love my wife. I'll see you tomorrow.